Hello, dear friends. This is Lady Sylvia. And I was downstairs um, packing away part of my bead room. And I came across a bunch of wonderful photographs that I thought I'd share with you guys. And also some porcelain um, beautiful plaques, which I will explain how I acquired them. And I plan on framing them in beadwork um, when I move back to, um, when I get to San Diego. But <clears throat> I found some postcards and pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm real, you know, look back at former times and um, I'm upstairs because uh, I got my knee injections yesterday and my doctor told me to rest my legs and not uh, pack or lift anything heavy. So I brought these upstairs in a shopping bag and I thought I'd share them with you before I pack them away. Look at this lovely lady. I would say that's around 1870. And um, this sweet child. Look at the big bonnet. Isn't that adorable? Oh, just to think, you know, these people are probably gone. This was probably around 1890, judging by the style of her dress. Lovely lady. Just snapshots of time. Now this is in the winter. You can see she has her little wool leggings and her mittens. Isn't that adorable? And then this is a mom and her beautiful son. Look at that dress. Look at his jacket and his little knickers. So beautiful. I just thought you guys would enjoy sharing these. You know, it's sad that you can go in stores and a lot of them are just like sold for cheap or families just get rid of them. They just throw them away. And I just think these are snapshots in time that shouldn't be forgotten. This looks like a sorority girls or school girls are all dressed in white. Look at how beautiful with the big, you know, ribbons in the back of the hair, the big bows. That was, I think, popular around 1890. And there were some postcards. I'll just go through them really quickly. Look how cute the cats fiddling around with the fishbowl. Another little tiny picture of a little girl with her long ringlets. Lots of little pictures of kids, which of course I love. Look at her, how beautiful, how wistful her face and big eyes. Postcard of little kids feeding chickens. These are mostly European. This is a Christmas card. Obviously in a foreign language. Look at the doll she's holding. Lucky girl, big doll. And then this one, lovely ladies all holding flowers. You'd like to, you know, sometimes you wonder what happened to these people. Look at a father helping his daughter on a tricycle. I had a tricycle when I was around five years old that my dad got me. Picture at the beach, pretty faded. Oh, picture of a girl and her dog, a big St. Bernard. Just love these snapshots in time, these children at the beach. Look at these ladies, what is this, 1940s? Not sure. Maybe 1930 or 1940. Little girl in her bathing suit and hat. Looks around 1910. How cute with their sailor suits. Isn't that adorable? Here's another series of photographs of three sisters. And you see by the style of the collar, 
That's called a Bertha collar, a Bertha collar, that white lacy collar. And that's around 19, I would say 1910. You see how lacy the bow and the, you can tell the photos by that, sometimes mostly by the clothing. Look how adorable, a brother and sister. Just snapshots in time. See the little spit curls on the girl? Probably about 1930. Here's a little boy. Must be winter because he's wearing wool leggings. A beautiful postcard of two little girls with their doll. This is definitely not in English. This is... I, I, I can't read that. What does it say? Uh, 1909. But it is not in English. I don't know where that is. Amazing. Let me put my glasses down. And then a little kid at the beach. These are lovely snapshots in time. I, I, I don't want to throw these away. I will give some of my friends some of these. Those of that are interested, I will. Because I'm not the only one who collects old photos. There's lots of people that collect old postcards and photos. Here's a carded photo of a little baby. Another beautiful Look at this little girl. She's holding a cockade fan, like I talked about in my fan video. One of these, I think, are Christmas. The little girl got a dolly for Christmas. Lucky girl. What's this one? Oh, isn't that cute? I think that's Easter. Little kids. Must be Easter as well. Just snapshots in time. I don't know why. August of 1933. That's what the date on that is. A mother and daughter. Probably a studio photograph. Oh, look at these kids. They're probably a camp. Also, probably August of 1943. Isn't that amazing? I, I just love these images caught in time, you know? I, I just, they're precious to me. Look at that lady with her long ringlets and her little baby girl. What's this? Ah, two lovers. Woohoo. Cute. Oh, so cute. Look at the striped socks. This looks like a sport sporting game. Some kind of you know, maybe a picnic and they had a, a some kind of sporting. Here's a lady with her fur coat. Nice. Oh, look at this little girl with her rattan stroller. These strollers are now very collectible. I have mine downstairs and that's gonna be um, transported in a van so that I don't have to create it because it's too expensive to create. Lovely wedding photo. How sweet, how beautiful, what date is that? 1921. And then, oh, look how adorable. She's watering the flowers with her big hat. Oh, how adorable, these are precious. I, I don't know about you, but I think these are so sweet and precious. Look at this little baby hopping in the puddle. 1933. No, I just can't imagine throwing these in the trash. Little baby. 
there's mom and dad getting married or getting on their honeymoon. Oh, that's so sweet. July of 1927. I love when they're dated because then that helps me to figure out the kind of clothing they wore. That's a studio photograph of a little boy. Another studio photograph. This is also a studio, but very nice. A big hat. And she's got the high button boots, so you could tell this is turn of the century. Oh, look how cute. They're reading while the dog tears up their doll. Uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. Look at this, the little dog. Another studio photograph. Happy New Year. And that is, let me see, what is that thing? These old stamps, it's so hard to read. Oh, I can't read that. Oh, sweet face, baby. Oh, look at, she has, what do they call those perms? Those wavy perms they did in the 30s. Another little kid, studio photograph. <coughs> These look like etchings. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Family posing. Look at this. These are great to post in uh, Facebook too because they're so fun. Oh. Look at the old cars. Isn't that sweet? Look at how beautiful. Look at that hat, that bonnet. Beautiful, beautiful child, God bless her. She's probably long gone. Been a grandma, been a mom and passed away. Another wedding photo, how beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. This is in Long Beach. Studio photograph, Long Beach Jail. And then this is at the Long Beach Bar. They look, oh, they're toasting it good. Oh, boy. Here's a little adorable baby. Oh, beautiful. Look at the wistful photograph. This, She's looking up to the heavens. I just think these are so precious. I'm not going to throw any of these away. These two beautiful African-American children. What is this? You look mighty good to me. Oh, how cute. Another wistful photograph. Look at her beautiful shawl. This is beautiful. Another studio photograph. This is, looks like an etching. These are postcards. Answer, please, please hurry. Don't you make me worry. Tell me you could learn to love a girl like me. Oh, how sweet. This one says, it might have been. Love's barometer set fair. <laughs> That's so cute. There's another postcard of a gentleman and his lady. This is 18 something. It's dated 1906. Another little etching. Oh, this is so sweet. Coming back from the honeymoon, he's uh, carrying her across the threshold. That's adorable. Let's see, what's this? This doesn't have anything in it. Oh, this is sweet. Look at these three darling sisters. How beautiful. How is how beautiful is that? Wouldn't that make a great, you know, make a photo frame of that for sisters? So sweet and darling. <laughs> a little, yeah, people used to photograph their kids naked like that or lying on a rug, kind of weird, but they did that. Here's a family in the ocean taking a picture. This is, oh, look at these old pedal cars. You know, those are now 
bringing thousands of dollars in uh, Antiques Roadshow, if you can get them restored, these old children's pedal cars. This is a beautiful baby. Try, let me, whoops, whoa, 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 whoa. I hit my thing, let me get the aunt lamp. See, she's got the tinted cheeks. Look at those striped socks, is that a doll? I try to dress some of my dolls like that. Get them the striped socks with the high button boots. I'm definitely gonna make a beaded frame for her. Here's another beautiful baby. We were all babies, weren't we? We were all little kids. Some not as lucky as others. That's so sweet. My sister's name is Liz. I'm gonna send her that. It's a little um, paper doll. Here's two ladies in their ethnic dress. Two lovers, how sweet. Oh, and look at this, the old photograph on a donkey ride. How sweet is that? Oh, she got a dog for Christmas and the other girl got a doll. This is so cute, sold by the pound. Girlie's Grocery. Love and kisses for customers only. Oh, how sweet. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That looks like a pug dog, right? Or a French bulldog? I'm not sure. Oh, lucky girl. She got a, a dolly for Christmas. And that is a color postcard. Let me take that off and see if it's dated. Look at how these old cards were done. May of 1922? No, 19, it says 1925 there. But it's not in English. No, it's, it's in some other language. Nice, beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful. Happy New Year. And then look at this. How adorable. So, okay, so now I'm gonna get to these porcelain plaques. So let me tell you. Years ago I bought them, I saw them on, on uh, Ruby Lane. And I found out that, I looked her up, this lady who made these wonderful, wonderful, magnificent porcelain plaques. She was president of the San Diego, um, Porcelain Painters Society. She made this exquisite baby's picture. And I'm in the process of doing a frame. It's very heavy, but I'm in the process of making something with that. She made, look at the work, the detail she did in the, in the collar, the way she painted faces. Her name was Willeen Hatfield. And they're marked and numbered Porcelain Portrait Society. And I think they're absolute works of art. I bought them because my heart told me not to let them go. And I bought every one of them that I could find. They're all signed and they're marked. They're all hand painted. She did this one too. Look at this, how beautiful. Her work is absolutely, looks the, the hat is full of roses. Her work to me is impeccable, 1986. Well, here's the deal, you know. Um, I don't know how people can be this way. I, I, if my mother was this talented, I would never allow anyone else to have her work. I would keep it in the family. But that's not what happened. They sold off everything. And this lady on Ruby Lane, you know, she, she sold it all off. This is dated 1980. But look at how beautiful this work is. 
So I'm, I'm determined that when I get a chance, I'm going to put it back in its plastic bag, and then I'm going to I'm going to wrap these in diapers to prevent them from being dropped or ship, you know, in shipment. And um, I'm going to make beaded frames for all of them. I don't care how long it takes me. I'm going to make something. Look at this lady. She looks very much like the 80s, somebody's portrait. But look at how she did the hair. This lady was super talented. And this one, look at this. This I'm gonna make a necklace since it already has the mark for the holes. I'm gonna make a beautiful chain incorporating the colors of her copper colored hair. But look at her face. This lady was super, super talented. Now I'll tell you, you know, I don't know, but her family just sold everything off. I got everything that I could. I bought everything, I didn't care the price, I just bought it all. Um, I just couldn't let this go. I mean, I actually looked her up. She, she was, um, she's buried in San Diego. I found her on that, that website, Find the Grave. And I think when I go to San Diego, I'm gonna visit her and bring her some flowers. Look at how beautiful that is. Can you believe her talent? And then to throw it all away. You know, I would never, ever, if my mother was talented, and my mother's not talented like this, I would, I would keep everything, everything in the family, and I would never allow anybody to have my mother's work, especially if my mother was this blessed and this talented. My mother was not, and my mother and I have a very bad relationship because, you know, I didn't have a very happy childhood, so. Look how beautiful that is. Let me get her out of the bag. Look how beautiful. Isn't that amazing? And those that have, you know, things like this, I'll fix it up and turn them into beautiful necklaces made with pearls and crystals and try to do them honor and justice because I think they deserve that. Look how beautiful, exquisite, how she painted this lovely lady. I, I treasure these. They're not, you know, she's, she wasn't my mother, but I really treasure them. I think they're phenomenal. And I will definitely make uh, beaded frames for those that I can make frames for, and I will keep them. And um, I guess when I'm getting too old and I wanna pass them down, I will pass them down to somebody who can appreciate artwork like that. That is just stunning. And these are big, these are like five by seven or something. They're beautiful, look at this work. And then this is a piece that I, I was gifted by a friend. And this is uh, enamel on copper. It's an old antique piece. It's French, I believe. So it's quite large. It's, hear that? So it's, and you could see the little copper edge chipped off, but it's enamel on copper. Apparently these are rare. So um, this is a big one. Uh, this is probably um, seven by four. You know, maybe four and a half across, but at least seven this way. But I will come up with something to do with this because she's too pretty to just throw away. She's really beautiful. And I, I, I don't know, my friends, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it easy today because my doctor told me to. Um, you know, these knee injections, they kind of hurt, but um, I suck it up and because uh, they help me so much. And he said that since I lost the, um, the weight, 48 pounds now, that that's really helped my knee. And uh, he gave me a little, there was like a little bit, he adds a little bit of steroid to the monovisc. And what's wonderful about monovisc is that instead of normal synovial fluid, you have to get it shot in, in each knee for three weeks. And you know, needles in your knees are not joking. They're very painful. So this guy, you only do it every six months. And it's, um, he's a wonderful doctor, Dr. Siebert at UNM. And um, he is a leading researcher in, in uh, this, this things with knee, with, uh, knee injuries. 
And um, he actually used a tiny ultrasound machine so he can see inside my knee and uh, direct the needle where it's supposed to be so it won't hit a bone or something. He's so wonderful. I, I almost cried because um, that was my last visit. And uh, I just love him to bits. He was such a w wonderful doctor. And he's going to help me find a new doctor in San Diego, maybe one that he trained so I don't get any idiots. But anyway, isn't this absolutely beautiful? I just, I just love this little baby. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do her honor, this lady, Willene Hatfield. And I think she was a masterful painter. I mean, masterful. Not everybody can do this kind of work. I know I could never paint like this. I wish I could. But um, I'm going to do her honor. And when I get over there, I'm going to wrap all these up. Um, and you know, my friends, I, I, I think of all of you, um, and if any of you want any of these pictures, I will definitely uh, try and send you some. I just love these snapshots into the past because, you know, um, we don't live forever. Look at this lovely lady with her, her beautiful, beautiful hair and this beautiful flower arrangement on her shoulder and then her beautiful locket. And I have a Parian doll um, that has this ruffled applied work to her. I'll show her someday. Uh, and it, it mimics the style of women's hair. And look at the braided coronet in her hair. So dolls, you know, China and Bis dolls, they mimic the hairstyles that were current at the time, which was basically the 1870s. Now look at this lady here with a big hat and the giant flower. That's probably 1920s. And this beautiful chromolithograph of a girl at Christmas with her dolly. Oh, and look at this for us jewelry lovers. Oh, God. Look at that choker. Oh, my God. And pearls. And the rings on her fingers. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. That's... I wish I could make that the cover photo for my lady Sylvia. Man, that's really beautiful. She's just drenched in pearls. And let's see if it's signed. Nope. Mademoiselle Angelie Bertrand, Chateau de Carnes. I can't read the rest, but oh, I love these things with, look at the girl with her mirror. Oh, and look at these hats. Talk about styling. Whoa. -ho -ho. Oh, look how cute this people at the beach with their little beach hats. Oh, and the birthday party. Oh, sweet. I don't recall having birthday parties, but it's okay. Look at this beautiful, beautiful bride and groom. That's probably 19, 1900 or 1890. What do you want, Danny? Oh, Danny's such a crybaby. This is another 1920, 1910 maybe. Not dated. <laughs> this is cute. Look at the old bathing suits. Holy mackerel. What? That's what they wore. All right, my friends. I will end it here. And I wish you all the very, very best. Um, I'm going to take it easy. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night because I have a lot of, you know, you have residual pain. It goes away after a day or two. But um, I'm going to get some help Friday. My helper is coming. Um, she helped me today, and, and she's coming on Friday to help me, which I really appreciate because I'm not supposed to lift boxes. So, my friends, I love you all, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that subscribe to my channel and that um, watch these videos and learn and appreciate what I appreciate. And I love you very much, and um, I'll see you real soon. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.